owning an aircraft is certainly one of the most fulfilling experiences one can have. And if you're using it for business, it can be one of the most useful tools that can help you advance your enterprise. I have often been asked what the best aircraft is, and there is never one answer. A lot of factors certainly come into play. In this episode, I take a look at four different aircraft with different mission profiles. Do a test flight across the country and show you what to expect when you finally decide to get the aircraft of your dreams. We've said that the first factor in choosing an aircraft is your mission profile. What kind of flying you will require at least 90% of the time. We've talked about long-range business jets. But what if you only need short hops? Like an executive looking to avoid traffic or a businessman having to land in areas with no runways. This is where the helicopter comes handy. I got to take a closer look at the new twin-engine Bell 49. So James, this is a totally different design, new type certificate, isn't it? That's right, yeah, it's a new design. It's truly next generation. The shape is totally different from the traditional Bell that I know. Well, yeah, it's not just the good look. It's not just a nice exterior. Uh, there's a lot of great features on the inside as well. Pilots love it. It's fast, it's powerful, it's smooth, and it's easy to fly. It makes any pilot look like a good pilot, so. This is the plane for me. <laughs> Another thing to consider is the maintenance and the kind of support the aircraft comes with. You don't want to be stuck with an aircraft that spends most of its time in the shop. Mechanics love it too because it's very easy to maintain. I saw you can get all your parameters after the flight. Yeah, that's right. And it, it allows for easier maintenance and less downtime, which translates into more affordability as well. Exactly. For Bell, it's always the case, whether it's the Bell 429 on, or any of our other products, we're very proud of our support for our customers. That's important. Now I like to fly it. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. My name is our Charlie Foxtrot X-Ray Quebec Romeo. Very nice and smooth, huh? Do you like it? Yes. And you'll see it's even more smooth once we get over the water on the... Uh... I turn to the left. Sounds good? A twin-engine helicopter offers several advantages. It can fly faster and reach longer distances than a single-engine one. It's bigger and makes less noise, making it more comfortable for VIP passengers. It also has all-weather capability and is allowed to fly over build-up areas like populated cities, therefore allowing you to land closer to your destination. Okay, I'll start slowly descending 500. Perfect. Altitude select 500. Oh, can you put the flight director for that then? You want a flight director? You want to hand fly it? Oh, no, no. It's your call. Whatever yeah. you yeah. wish for. You're the bus. Okay, 500 is there. Easy to fly. Yep. So you have two stability augmentations. If yeah. you go here and you just lose one, you won't feel the difference. Yeah. Because the other one takes the whole load. Right. If I can fly it, it's because they did a good job. <laughs> it's the right helicopter for me. Of course, compared to an airplane of similar size, owning a helicopter costs more. But it delivers some speed, flexibility, and convenience if that's what you're after. 